Retrieving datasets from a database is one of most utilized functionalities when we are interacting with MongoDB. Especially in the context of big data, no functionalities for accessing data in an efficient way is a very basic skill a programmer needs to, to have. Then, uh, for this purpose, we have the find function that allow us to recover a set of documents from the database based in a carry object, which will make the filter based on attributes, on logical connectors, and so on. We have also a second parameter where we can perform another configurations, for instance, informing which sorting order based in which attribute we would like to have the result, we inform what, what each boot from the documents we would like to have. For instance, one object could have dozen each boots, but we would like just three or four. We don't need to retrieve all of them, just a subset. And it helps in the efficiency of our processing. Less data for being processed, for being transmitted through the network, more faster will be the, the processing. And it's very important to say that the um, find method we are studying now returns a cursor object. A cursor object is a kind of object that allows the iteration over the re retrieved documents. We can iterate it based in uh, several methods, for instance, the next method, which returns every time the next document it's pointing to, to array that converts that for a native JavaScript array or for it, which allows to iterate it one by one each time in a function. So in this example here, we perform a carry based in a carry object. In this case, no, no filter. It retrieves all objects for this collection. And here we have one, let's just change here. We don't like the ID, for instance, just the description attribute. And we are presenting all objects in our output. Okay, saving that, just before executing any test in the find function, let's see our database. So here we have three objects, object A, B, and C, each one with its own ID. Now let's see how Node.js can access that. So here our application, let's run that. So here it is, we have the three objects presented, but just with the single attribute, the description. So just for conclude, let's clear that, stop the current running thread, let's enable, we would like to receive the ID attribute as well, and let's run again the code. So here, let's wait for the processing, and now we have the description and the ID attribute together in the output because they are on the projection uh, flag. Okay, so this was the find function, one of most utilized MongoDB resources for recovering documents from databases collections.